Good morning! It's Wednesday. It's hump day. So, the truth is, I'm still gonna be a little bitch. Uh, <laughs> no, on the real, my legs are pretty raw. They're still hurting from that stupid 12 hour, 30 something plus mile. Um, I'm gonna have to let them recover. I tried to run yesterday. I hit about two and a half miles. Pain started coming up where they weren't supposed to and shit started hurting, so yeah. But today, these boys are still killing it. So we got our mutter workout. We're gonna post the whole thing up on YouTube for those of you that are interested. But yeah, you guys enjoy your Wednesday. Get over that hump. Go get after it. All right, you little YouTube being mutters. Uh, today's workout. Cool, so for strength, we got a little strength component today. Using an odd object or weight, do 20 to 30 squats holding the weight close to your body. Well, we're gonna use a barbell and a squat rack and really heavy weight. And because it is a strength modality, we're gonna seek out strength. So don't forget the repetitions and the sets are the nuts and bolts to your programming. It's what brings everything together. So we're gonna seek out some strength numbers. We're gonna do five by fives. Again, these kids have not been squatting for the last couple months. So it's gonna be kind of fresh and new to their legs again. You guys can get started whenever you want. Okay. So you're seeking out strength strength so you're not trying to just go through this shit all nice and quick we'll, we'll save that for the amp ramps and the circuits later rest anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds and then get another set of five another set of five and then you know the drill Now we're moving on to the little conditioning part of this session. Uh, we still got an amp ramp. That's as, oh no, 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 my bad. Not an amp ramp, it's actually a conditioning session. So you have a specific amount of repetitions and sets that you need to do. It's not as many as possible. It's, you have to do what you have to do. So it's a conditioning circuit. It's four rounds as fast as possible. It's 10 jump squats, 10 burpees, and 10 bicycle crunches. Let's go inside and we'll knock those out inside. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, so no timer on this one, just doing the best that you can. You got 10 jump squats, right? Remember that one here? Uh, you got your burpees. When you land, try to land in a squat, right? Uh, and then the last one, your bicycles. On the bicycles, I don't want you looking like a fucked up roly poly trying to get up. That's what I see a lot. I see a lot of this with the bicycles. <laughs> but no, uh, open up your elbows, grab your ears, and you're trying to twist. I want you to twist that core, getting that shoulder blade off the floor, keeping your chin nice and neutral. <laughs> Yeah. 
That was dope. Good job, guys. Put in that work. Damn. Ooh. Cool. Well, that was the second one for this week. Well, third one if you count yesterday because we ran and still did our kettlebell swings and all that stuff. The warm-ups. Oh, you know what? Shit. I'm sorry. We're not done. We still got core. That was pretty close. Pretty good. Good one, Otto. Ha ha. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay consistent on that core circuit three times a week. Side plank, side plank. I'm sorry, low plank, side plank, side plank. And then your dead bugs. Again, working on those hip flexors. Um, give these boys a little break, and then we'll get after that core circuit. Three, two, one. Go ahead, guys. That was the end. I got cold. <laughs> With a little girl. Huh? These fools are killing it. Got a nice little sweat fest on the floor. That concludes the second workout for this week. Third, whatever. You guys know what's up, man. Uh, keep training hard. Keep getting after it. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.